Today is September 20th. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace through the power of the Holy Spirit. Take a moment and quiet yourself. Take a deep breath. Welcome God's presence and say, come Holy Spirit. Today's reading is from the book of Haggai, chapter 2. This is what the Lord Almighty says. In a little while, I will once more shake the heavens and the earth. The sea and the dry land. I will shake all nations, and what is desired by all nations will come. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord Almighty. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine declares the Lord Almighty. The glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house, says the Lord Almighty. And in this place I will grant peace, declares the Lord Almighty. God points out that the gold and silver are His. He's demanding what is rightly His, not so He can store it up for Himself and count it or build statues of Himself so that people bow down and show their reverence to Him. He's planning a place for peace for the people. a place to restore what was lost to sin. Where do you go to restore what's been lost to sin? What if we all used God's silver and gold to glorify Him? Can you think of a better use for it? What if instead of wrapping it around our necks and arms, we work together to build a place of perfect peace on earth with it? This is what the Lord Almighty says. In a little while, I will once more shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all nations, and what is desired by all nations will come and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord Almighty. 
The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, declares the Lord Almighty. The glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house, says the Lord Almighty. And in this place I will grant peace, declares the Lord Almighty. What can you give back to God today that is rightfully His? Silver or gold? Time? Energy? Love? Give something back to God today, no matter how insignificant it feels. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power that I may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
story.